And Indy Hothi is on the line, a trustee at Calsa Aid, that's a Berkshire-based international humanitarian relief charity, which has been helping those affected by the floods in Yorkshire and in Lancashire. Uh, tell us the work you've been doing, Indy. Hi there, Julian. Yes, the Calls for Aid have been working uh, in the northwest region over the last week or so, supporting local victims of the flooding. So we've been working in uh, Lancashire, Yorkshire and Cumbria. And uh, what we've been doing is supporting people with a clear up from the floods. Number one, in terms of providing volunteers and manpower to do so. Uh, number two is actually to build up flood, flood defences. So we've been supporting local, local communities and the council by providing uh, sandbags to them. And also another key thing that what we've learned from past experience of working in flood zones uh, across the world and in, in Somerset last year was also providing free hot meals to the community because um, a lot of people, as a result, you know, they, their food sources are, are hampered or people are in such shock that they forget to eat and things like that. And we, we've, we've been helping with that. So far, we've distributed 3,000 hot meals um, across the northwest region. So that's what we've been doing uh, to support people that, that, that have been affected by the flooding. Uh, you mentioned your past experience in reference to Somerset last year. Where else has your organisation worked on these kinds of situations? So Call for Aid has primarily worked in disaster zones and war zones, and actually in terms of flooding, we've got a team out in Chennai, India. They've been flooding there over the last month or so. We've been working there, and also in 2014 in the Balkans region, uh, there was severe flooding, and I myself was out there, uh, out there with a colleague leading a project in Bosnia, supporting uh, local communities there with the flooding. So we've used the best practice in terms of what's happened internationally and also in the UK in terms of Somerset and share that experience with the local communities here to try and support them as much as we can. And actually the amazing thing that we've seen is people from all over the UK come to the region. So for example, I was in Croston earlier this morning and to see everyone come together to try and provide what support front to provide as much support sorry, as, as they can to the community, which is absolutely amazing to see. And what sort of reception have you had from local people? People have been shocked to see that, you know, for example, myself and Berkshire have come all the way up to, to help them, but at the same time, it's, it's, they're, they're, they're so grateful for the help and it's, it's so wonderful to see the community come together. I've had so many people, individuals mention to me that, you know, there's so many people from the local villages, villages that they're from come to the Come back, come back to the, come back to those villages to help out, and it's just nice to see that community come together because it is, at the moment it's a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, you've got people trying to clear their homes out. On the other hand, also you need to, with the severe flood warnings coming up over the next 24 hours. People are trying to build their defences up with what resources they have. So people are, you know, a bit nervous. But the, the fact that the community coming together and, and people being very resourceful with what they have at the moment. So that's really good to see that people are keeping that uh, positive attitude. Indy Hothi of uh, Kelsa Aid. And uh, you can keep up to date with the latest developments.